Hello, uh, everybody. Right, so today's update. Um, yesterday, we had a look at some of the sterling pairs that were really going on really nicely with some of those snipers with the trend. So sniper trades in line with the major trend of the market. So identify the major trend. There's two ways you can do it, depending on the platform you're on. One is by referring to the monthly chart, looking at the color of this line here. Alternatively, on the browser-based platform, it's just got a very simple arrow uh, depicting the longer-term trends. It's really easy to do. Trades I'm going to look at today are against the trend. Now, these are typically lower probability trades. Doesn't mean there aren't some great movers in there as well. So what we need to do is find an additional reason to look to take those trades. We're still going to look at sniper trades today, but we can look at ones against the trend. As an example, euro against the yen here, against that longer term trend of the market. So it's an uptrend noted by the green line here. What that means is we've got to sell against that longer term trend. What you'd expect, therefore, is that the market's going to have a small move down, followed by, more likely, a rally to new highs. So what we need to do is to get in, get in quick, take our profits and so on. But what I want to have is some additional reason to help me to get into that trade to increase my probability and increase my desire to take this trade. So what are we going to look for? There's a couple of things I'm going to go through in today's video. We've had loads of yen trades over the last few days, uh, dollar CAD as well. Let's have a look at those. Let's find that additional reason. For Euro Yen, what I'm going to take a look at is support and resistance, in this case resistance, and have a look at the uh, recent pivot point last time we made up at these levels. So 122.70, last time we touched these highs, why did the market react from there? Is there something that's going to give us added confidence to that rejection? Let's just compress the chart up a little bit. Let's have a look at last time we got up to there. 122.84 was the pivot point back from July. That's the key price from which this market rejected that high. And here we can see the high of that move at 122.85.9. So we went through at about one and a half points. It rejected that level, came straight back down, a bit like that game Whack-A-Mole. It poked its head above it and then came flying straight back down again. That's adding confidence to that being a key level of resistance and giving us more confidence to take a trade against the longer term trend of the market. And here we are. We've had the short sell trade and the market is carrying on really nice continued move on those yen pairs today. We can see that on other charts as well. Swiss yen equally, uh, again, against that longer term trend. New trends moving up here. And you can see that. No reason to take this short trade here against the longer term trend. Market continues to new highs there in line with the longer term trends. More of a continuation trade here. This one, sniper against the longer term trend. What's going to get us into this trade? Let's go through the same process. Is there a reason why the market rejected this level? Let's have a look. Let's tighten up the chart here. Let's have a look at the last time the market was up at this level. Okay, the last clear pivot, 114.31. That was the key price from which the market rejected that level. It hit it again, like whack-a-mole, poked its head above, went straight back under, and it has rejected, oh, what am I doing? It's rejected that level, and it's gone on to move really nicely already in the, just a, a few hours into the trade there. We can see more of this New Zealand yen here as well short trade from a couple of days ago as well again against that longer term trend of the market a lot of those yen pairs the monthly trends changing direction there and that's fine but what it's meaning is that we're going against it so why do we want to go against it because it's rejected that resistance level as well what we tend to do with traders when they get into this, they start on with trend trades. Why? They're safer, they're easier to do. They generally have a, a bigger pips per trade average, i.e. it's easier to identify them and it's easier to trade them in a very rules-based non-thinking way if you like but actually as you get more into it there are a stack of additional trading opportunities that just require just a touch extra thought to give you those higher probability trades and really put those odds in your favor and give you that additional edge there like we see here hitting that rejection level there 73.30 hits it comes straight back underneath it that results in a short trade and here we are nicely on side on that trade as well um Let's have a look at a couple of other uh, opportunities then uh, for something else. Uh, Aussie Yen, we can also see something a little bit different with this one too. Um, whilst we haven't rejected that last pivot, we didn't get quite high enough uh, on this one. A lot of Yen pairs, as you'll notice here. What we have done is seen a lower high. So we can start to build that picture of the market starting to reject those highs, starting to have that pattern kind of reject itself. So we've got lower low off the previous low here. 
We've also got a lower high. The pattern's starting to shift back down again. We then get the sell trade again, adding weight to the confidence for that being a, a trade worth taking. Similarly, uh, we saw it on dollar CAD as well. US dollar against the Canadian dollar. Lovely buy uh, opportunity here. Um, and uh, but, but why? What made it a buy? It's against the longer term trend. It's lower probability unless we find that additional reason. Well, what have we got? Well, we've got a higher low. Got a higher low um, uh, uh, off, uh, off here. So put the base in here, went up, came down, put another base in here. So it's a higher low, rejected it, given us the buy signal, and then we can take that opportunity. It just gives us more confidence. Additional reasons, guys, to get into more opportunities. Let's have a look at one more. Dolly Yen, before we do move on, let's have a look at this. Been some fantastic moves on Dolly Yen over the last few days. Really nice, smooth sniper trading opportunities. It's against the longer term trend again. We've been in an uptrend for a couple of months now on Dolly Yen. So let's look for that additional reason. What have we got? Well, we've got a higher high. That's not great um, because actually we'd really rather, if we're going to take a short trade, a lower high, right? The other thing uh, is, are we rejecting previous resistance levels? Let's tighten up the chart. No, the next resistance level is at 110.42. There's a bit of free air between that level there. I'm going to leave this one alone. But hopefully you can get an idea now into how we can take trading a stage further. We looked at those snipers with the trend yesterday. Very straightforward meat and drink trades. Now we're going to delve into those other trading opportunities. Let's be a little bit more selective. Let's put the odds in our favor. And let's find those additional reasons to pick up some fantastic trading opportunities. All the best guys and have a great day's trading. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.